Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Crimson Dawn Lore, where I, the author, teach you, the viewer, about the world of Crimson Dawn. Today's episode is about the T-14G main battle tank. I talked about it once before in the second part of Who is Rick Letyeskov, but I decided to go into a little more detail with this video. Anyway, let's get into the lore of this main battle tank. The T-14G is a modified version of the real-life T-14 Armada that was first utilized by the new Soviet army in the latter half of the Second Russian Civil War. The main weapon was vastly upgraded to a miniaturized Gunyer-class railgun cannon, but its other weapons and armor remained relatively the same, if not identical, to its real-life counterpart. The railgun cannon mounted inside the turret was optimized for the tank's crew to operate as if it were a normal tank cannon. This meant that conventional tank crews were easily able to use the T-14G with a small learning curve. Thanks to its main armament, this tank surpassed expectations of Soviet high command on the battlefield during the latter half of the Second Civil War and beyond, thus becoming the new Soviet Union's main battle tank for more than half a century. After the design of the original Gunyer prototype was reverse engineered by Soviet weapon scientists, the T-14G made its debut in the Battle of Krasnoyarsk on July 8, 2022, during which it was used by Soviet General Sergei Vasilov to besiege the city of Krasnoyarsk. Thanks to its far superior accuracy compared to conventional tanks, the T-14G allowed Vasilov and his forces to pick off any Reich tanks and artillery cannons that tried to break the siege, which eventually ended in a Soviet victory. Its success on the battlefield allowed Soviet forces to reach the last bastion of the Russian Reich, the port city of Magadan, on August 3, 2023. During the battle, Reich forces utilizing T-90 main battle tanks found it difficult to defend their last stronghold, as the T-14G possessed unrivaled range and accuracy with its main cannon, enabling it to swiftly destroy Reich tanks from much further away. Because of their excellent range and firepower, they cleared the way for Spetsnaz forces to enter the city and eliminate key Reich military leaders, putting the final nail in the coffin for the Russian Reich. Later on during the new Soviet Union's military history, the T-14G would secure itself as an invaluable tool to ensure victory for the new Soviet Union decades after its fateful debut. And that concludes today's episode of Crimson Dawn Lore. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.